Hello, okay, so what we have done so far, excuse the toilet paper, I don't mean to be disgusting at all. But, so we've glued the neck to the body and we glued the fretboard. This is the fretboard. These are frets. We glued the fretboard to the neck and the body and if I look down it looks fairly straight. If I look through here it looks like there's a small amount of a gap here. It could have done with some sanding but this uh, finish is just so beautiful. I didn't want to sand away the artwork. And up here, it's a little bit off up here, and I'm going to have to figure out where to put the nut. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 frets. It's 26 inches, I believe, um, uh, in length. And um, so I thought I would work on the machine heads today because they're quite interesting. Uh, so the glue that I used was just, um, just epoxy glue. I got it at the dollar store. Um, I don't, I, I, I do not know if your dollar store has epoxy glue. Um, I've heard it said online that you can just use just white glue, like the glue they use with children, the white glue. Um, so, this is the bridge, and in order for the bridge to be complete, it comes with this, this is separate. I guess you could glue it on. I don't think that's necessary. There are two holes in the bridge, which to my knowledge would be, uh, it would be best if I screwed them on. Um, and I would have to find a screwdriver, which I would have to pause the video for. Okay, so I found two screwdrivers. As you can see, one is a flat head and the other is what I call a star head. But I don't think that's the proper name for it. So we have to find, we have to separate. Okay, this is our string. Got our machine head, machine head, machine head, machine head. And so we've got a bunch of screws. There are four small, or four or five, five small screws and two larger screws. Let's see if this goes through here. Now that looks like a good fit. I think most people would tell you uh, to pre-drill a hole. Um, pre-drill a hole before screwing. But I found in my travels uh, that I don't need to pre-drill a hole. I can just screw it back in. Uh, but I'm going to be applying pressure with this screw in order to break through the wood. And I hope I do not crack the body. This will all be ruined. Okay, so we have it screwed in. So we just unscrew that and flip this on its back.
So, just need to push it. My dad did teach me this about the washer, and I don't know what the other part is called the socket. I mean, yeah, it's fine that way. It's, it's not perfect, but it works. Uh, is in. See what we're doing here? So the washer goes on the bottom and this whatever you call the screw part goes on top. And this is just This is just to uh, keep the holes cleared up, like the gunk in them or whatever. There we go. Now, we need to screw these things in the back. That's not as I intended to say it. Um, now, again, normally you would drill this beforehand. So this is a harder wood. Okay, so... Got the machine heads on. The headstock here. Just going to test if they turned. Yes. That is turning ever so slowly. It's turning, okay. And they've got these, this kind of base is supposed to be good. I don't know why. Okay, so we're gonna glue the nut onto There. The nut is elevated at that level. Okay. So we will be gluing the nut up here. This is the nut. What the nut does is it elevates the strings. Um, so, what I will do is I will take this container, which I've already used for the epoxy, and um, I still have some epoxy left. Can we just push it out? Yes, we can. Okay, that's a good amount of epoxy. And I need to mix it together. Okay. So There and put that there. I'm gonna have to wash my hands and put that there. Just I don't have any weight for that. Open the window. 